Sleepy. Wow! That was a really big yawn, Keitsukun! I'm usually awake when it wants it's time to eat. That doesn't look like I can do it today. I was watching TV until last night, so I'm tired now. It was one of those raunchy TV shows you loved so much on last night? How extremely vile! Don't jump to conclusions! It's perfectly normal for boys. Nothing to be ashamed about. Rika not patting my head only made me feel worse. Could you just let me pass out this lunch break? No, seriously. My, you think I would just sit here and allow that? I'll get really angry if you disturb me. Really angry. <laughs> this was just dreadful. Just so sleepy. I slumped my head onto the desk and drifted off into an afternoon nap. It seemed that Zatka had responded, but I pretended not to hear. Cut it out, Satoko chan. Can't you fall asleep? You sleepy face. So cute. You could take him home later. Let him be for now. Let's move over here. It'd be rude of Ke to Keiji if we bothered him now. He could chat this really is really is a good girl. Let's not wake him up even if the teacher comes back. I take that. Let's not wake him up even if the teacher comes back. I take that back. The excuse that I didn't sleep much last night because I was watching TV was a lie. I was in bed at the usual time, but because of the conversation with Oishi-san that afternoon, I didn't get much sleep. Just spending the day like this, it's almost as if the incident with Tomotaka-san didn't happen at all. It made me think, was Oishi-san just trying to deceive me? But it was probably the truth. One thing was certain. I couldn't speak to anyone about it. He wanted my assistance, but I really didn't know anything about it. If I knew I wasn't going to be of any help, I probably would have wouldn't have listened in the first place. I ended up with me, again, regretting learning something I didn't need to know. If I had never learned about it, I would, without a doubt, be goofing off with the rest of them right now. I can't help but resent Oishi-san for this. When was that? When was that? I heard he wasn't there the next day. It appears he vanished the night of the Watanagashi. Mion whispered to keep others from listening, but I could clearly hear. On the other hand, Rena's voice was even harder to pick up. But I could still tell that she was quite upset. Couldn't be. Are they talking about Tomitake-san? Inuitake? Not sure. That's all I know. I could have, I, I would have to feign ignorance about this topic because I needed to keep it a secret. Rather than waking up and being forced to lie to join the conversation, it was much easier to sit here and pretend I was asleep to listen in on the discussion. Wait, why did I have to pretend to be asleep while eavesdropping on my friend's conversation? Guilt. Stun. So, and me, there are others, right? Two? They don't know if it's from the curse or if this was an Onikakushi. Onikakushi? Onikakushi? To be hidden away by a demon? What a mysterious phrase. I did, however, get the feeling it meant nothing good. Yeah, well, there was another, right? Right? If it's Oyashiro Samas, yes. But, but. This year, the. At all? Grandma and the mayor had talked about it. Seems like they talked to the police about it beforehand. They said they'd take care of whatever happens this year without causing a commotion. Then, without us knowing it, someone had... at them. You mean? Maybe. This could... me. I wonder. Don't worry. You got home safely. But... is... not allowed, right? 
That was a long time ago. Let's stop talking about this. Miss the, con the uncomfortable mood, both of them went silent. The entirety of the conversation was still a bit unclear, but a few parts caught my attention. First of all, the term onikakushi. To be demoned away. By the context, it was used in... I would guess it's similar to being spirited away. I suspected that was what it meant because Tomotake-san and the woman, it really bugged me that I didn't know her name, vanished after the Watanagashi. The next thing that stuck out was when Nana said, There's another one, right? Mion said, If it's Oyoshiro-sama's, yeah, responding to something. If it's Oyoshiro-sama's curse, then there had to be two victims, is that what she meant? Come to think of it, I remember Mion saying at the beginning that they didn't know if it was from the curse or if it was a case of Onikakushi. Seems that the curses and being demoned away are different things. And they were a phenomena that were paired together. I recall Tomotake-san's terrible end. That was something as elegant as disappearing. That horrendous end would be described as cursed. Then, the woman with him. It means she vanished because she was demoned away? What I do know is that there's normally an even number of victims of the curse proper. And the last point that bothered me was Lena. Lena was frightened. For what, for what reason? I didn't know. However, she knew that something had made her a potential target for ya Oyashiro-sama's curse. I recall correctly. Oyashiro-sama should be the guardian deity of Hinomizawa. Isn't a guardian deity, deity supposed to defend the citizens and drive out invaders? If I co recall correctly, yesterday Oyashi-san said that originally the targets were enemies of the village, but recently there was no longer any distinction between them or, and, or regular outsiders. But if that was the case, then I would think that I'd be the more likely target, having moved here more recently than Nana. From her composure, I could infer that she was grimly certain that she would be next. I should probably relay what I just heard now to Oishi-san, informing the police of what I heard by eavesdropping on my friends while pretending to be asleep made me feel terrible. It raised a few questions and left me with a bad taste in my mouth. Would it be better not to see the answers to those questions? As I continued to listen to learn more and more, I felt like I'd fallen past the point of no return. I would definitely regret this one day. I would definitely regret ever having learned th these events. The teacher approaches! Keiji-san! You must awaken! In the distance, I could hear the ring of the handbell signaling the start of afternoon class. Yeah, I couldn't sleep at all! I hastily opened my eyes and raised my head up. It was in, it was in that moment when I leaned against the back of my seat. Oh, oh, uh, there was a thumbtack stuck on the back of my chair with tape. Circumstantial evidence was enough. Sadako! You'll do without trial! Criminal, capital punishment! I furiously jumped up from my seat, and I tripped as my feet were tangled up. My shoelaces had been tied together! <laughs> Not bad, Satoko! While I was sleeping, you were able to conceal your presence and pull off this fine piece of work. The teacher came in right as I was about to pull off my shoes and tackle Satoko. Oh, ho, ho. Did you not notice that a teacher has arrived, Keiji-san? Take your seat! Clomp, clomp, whoosh, whoosh. Not caring one bit, I made her, I made her eat a flick to the forehead. Pichi's on his being me. Hey, don't pick on the younger kids, my Ibarakun. Apologize to her. I, I saw a Sadako stick her ton out of me. Brat! Come on, my Ibarakun. Yeah, yeah, I'll apologize. Sorry, Sadako-san. In any case, I apologize, even if it was in a completely insincere tone of voice. Damn her, I'll remember this. Kei-chan, Kei-chan, get your revenge at the club meeting. Take your seat, take your seat. I 
sat down after Mion told him to. See, she'd switch to class representative mode. Oy vey. With the boring classes finished, school was finally over for the day. Now then, what should we do for our club today? Personally, I'd like to play that deduction game one more time. I was hardly able to play it last time because of Oishi-san. Nana and I weren't even able to test out our strategy. That's right! Today, Katie Kun and I will be victorious! What should we do? We've never played the same game two days in a row before. Why not try asking me? Mion looked over her shoulder as we made eye contact. She slowly tapped her palm with her fist as she, as her face suddenly lit up. Oops! I completely forgot! I need to go help my uncle today! Sorry guys, not today! Helping your uncle? Aren't you a little goody two-shoes? Sorry, really. I really did forget. Well then, sorry guys! This old man is heading back home now. Mion left us with that and rushed off to the exit after snatching her bag up. You see, Mi-chan, she sometimes goes to help out at her uncle's shop in town. Huh. I thought she wasn't the type to get caught up in such bothersome stuff. She said that she gets paid for it. It's quite a bit of spending money from what I hear. I see. She was able to pay for that mountain of games with what she saved up from there. But that... Wouldn't you call that a part-time job? Isn't it against school policy? There's a clause that states family businesses are excluded. Is that what she's calling it? So what now? Pass on the club today? So, if we're done today, I guess... I guess? Won't it be fine even without the club president? Let's do this! I opened the club logger and began searching for that for the deduction game from that ever-growing pile of games. Ah, here it is. The deduction game from yesterday. Man, I had to stop just as I was just uh, just as I was getting the hang of it. At the very least I wanted to replace Sat to go before she did during the afternoon break. I do not mind. But is that fine for Nana San and Niga? Um If Katie couldn't want to play so badly. I wouldn't mind playing for a bit. I think it's better if we do it when we have everyone together. Hmm. When she says it like that. Hmm. I wanted to go shopping if there wasn't a club meeting today. Go in buy soy sauce and other things. Oh, that's right! I completely forgot! Well, I guess it's been a while. I should go treasure hunting! What's this now? Everyone was no longer in the mood for club activities? I kept on trying to push the matter... If I kept on trying to push the matter, it may make them realize I had a trick up my sleeve. Oh well, I'll give up this time. Man, I was really looking forward to playing it. I shuffled through the cards as if I was still caught up on it. At the next opportunity, I shall give you a sound thrashing! <laughs> The murderer is Satoko! The murder weapon is the pistol! It was you after all! B what did you say? Then I'll just... Satoko looked at the cards on the desk and stuck out three of them at me. The murderer is Keiichi in the lounge with the rope! I don't need no rope! I'll just strangle you like this! No! Keiichi's not such a beast! Well, it's good that I got that out of my system. I'll remember this, Keiji Song. She was used to she was used as a plaything for quite a while. How unfortunate! <laughs> Everyone got ready to go back home. I also helped gather up the scattered cards. I pa I suddenly paused. They were just the suspect cards, but I did notice something strange. Nena, Satoko, Dika, Keiichi, Mion, Satoshi. 
Satoshi. Not all the cards are made by us. Or at least, every card besides this one has the name of a club member. Does that mean that this Satoshi fellow is a member? Or is there someone in the class named Satoshi? I couldn't find anyone named Satoshi on the class roster. Stuck up the wall. Stuck up on the wall. Casey, can let's hurry and finish cleaning up. Being rushed by Rena, I finished up quickly. Satoko and Nikachan had already headed merrily for their lockers, so we were the only ones left in the classroom. Right now, Lena had already had already gotten her bag and was ready to leave. Lena, there must be quite a few people who transfer from the school, right? I tried asking Lena in a bit of a roundabout way. Lena made a troubled face and then answered. Yeah? Hinamizawa is a rural town, right? Some people transfer out every now and then. Then it's Satoshi. Then is Satoshi another of those transferees? Sorry. I don't really know. There was a bit of a pause, but the answer was pretty much immediate. Uh, um, I'm not saying it to be mean. Just last year, I transferred in, so maybe I just missed him. So I didn't hear much about him. Sorry. I'm not- I'm not sure. Sorry. <sighs> Her answer was a lot like when she refused to tell me about the murder at the dam. I was saddened by her denial and felt a little bit of anger. I'm their friend, aren't I? Friends don't keep secrets from their friends, do they? But we do appreciate that they kept that unsettling cursing for me. But if everyone is worried about it, I'd rather not be worried with them. That's that's what it means. That's what it means to be friends, right? For a moment. I wondered what kind of face I was making just then. These mixed feelings of sadness and annoyance. Hey, Chikun, you're making a scary face. Why is it? Why? It was probably exactly the kind of face Rena said it was. It appeared my grin and expression frightened her. But, sorry. I was really looking forward to the club today. I'm just feeling a bit down about it. I wrestled in his hair. Let's go home. Dragging that awkward mood with us, we headed home. I wonder why. Why have, why have I been getting this dumb feeling lately? I didn't know anything. I had nothing to worry about. I was just enjoying my everyday life. My long, outstretched shadow gave no answer to my naive inquiry. Cage Kun, are you tired, maybe? Maybe? Then I timidly questioned the reason behind my mood. I'm sure my expression made the situation even more unsettling. You think so? He, yeah. You seem to have been a little out of it ever since this morning. Maybe a cold? Physically, I was pretty sure I was in perfect health. It may not seem like it, but I've had a perfect attendance since elementary school. Then it continued on since I didn't give her an answer. It could be that the figure from Mo- that the It could be that the fatigue from moving has finally caught up to you. It's completely different from where you used to live, after all. Of course you've gotten tired, since there's so much you need to get used to and remember. Maybe that's it. Yeah, it has to be. Then I was also like that at first, too. I can tell, you know? You know? I wondered if Brenna also experienced a slight bit of alienation last year that I was feeling right now. Thinking so, I felt that she was the only one who could understand how I felt. I'd like to hear about when you first came to Hinamizawa. How was it? Feeling I had been drawn into the conversation, her face suddenly brightened. <laughs> it was the same as Keichikun. I didn't know the villagers' names at all. Michan and the rest were all very kind, so I wasn't lonely. But I did still feel a little out of place. Then it told me all the details of when she had moved here. 
all of her verse acquaintances and surprises, worries and good times. So, Satoko got you too? Yeah. There was a thumbtack put on my chair. Poop. Then with that, I... Yeah. It really takes me back. When were you invited into the club? The first day? Nah. There wasn't a club at the beginning. It was formed part way through. One day, she said we should stay after and hold a big game tournament. Come to think of it, Mion did say she was the first club president. Now I get it. This is a secret, but Mion used to be really bad at the beginning. <laughs> she never, she never win. Huh? Mion? Really? I can't even imagine that. She had to do most of the penalties that she came up with. <laughs> Seriously, don't tell. I can't believe Mion was like that. So she gradually transformed into a monster who used any means necessary to win during that time. Mion is at her best when she's fighting dirty. I began making more friends besides Mechan after that, but yeah. It might have only been since you moved here. But I had finally felt like I had gotten used to it here. Yes, Nana. That had also been left in the dark about Oyashiro-sama when she had just moved here. I guess when they finally told me about Oyashiro-sama, I'd be considered one of them. I wonder when I'll finally be considered one of them. Huh? Did you say something? No, sorry. Just talking to myself. <laughs> Katie Coot, you're silly. And it was poking fun and laughing at me. I couldn't help but laugh as well. I suddenly stopped. Then, after making up my mind, I spoke. Hey, Rena. Is there something that everybody is keeping from me? Huh? No, not at all. You're lying, aren't you? Nana suddenly stopped. Her expression was cold and intense. What do you mean by that, Keiji-kun? Her tone was still the same cheery and lighthearted one as before. You are, aren't you? Keeping something from me. Now, to understanding what I meant, her expression grew even more intense. Seeing that face, I regretted saying something so rash. But she came back at me in a way I didn't expect. Well then, Kate-kun. Aren't you keeping something from us? Huh? Her tone didn't change. But it was the first time I'd seen this expression from Nena. Her gaze, with how her gaze pierced through me, I couldn't believe this was the same Nena. Shit's hitting the fan. Aren't you? Lies, secrets, aren't you? You are. Secrets. She didn't actually say that part, but she looked as if she did. The incident with Tomotaki-san, how it felt alienate, how I felt and how I felt alienated from the group. Even without having to think about it, there were things I knew that I felt guilty about. But I didn't tell everyone what happened to Tomotaki-san to be considerate. I was keeping it a secret just the same way they didn't tell me about Oyashiro-sama. Then aren't we even? No, I'm not. No lies. Nor secrets. Liar. Her answer was instant and it shook me. Rena started, started as if, stared as if boring through me, watching me, like a hawk. Why would you say I'm lying? Didn't you say that you were gone into the teacher's room yesterday during the club meeting, cage kun I know. You didn't go to the teacher's room. I swallowed hard. It clearly wasn't a bluff. She knew what happened. The teacher said you had a guest, didn't she? But you didn't talk at the entrance. You talked inside of the car near the school gate. With some man we didn't, we don't know. Nana knew everything. <laughs> she knew I was that I was called up by Oishi-san, and that I heard about the incident with Tomotaki-san as well. Did she know all of it? Exactly who was that man? I, I don't know him. Why did someone you don't know have business with you? I, I want to know that myself. Then what did you talk about? It has nothing to do with you guys! It was a lie. Ma! 
die! Lilith screamed, echo through the trees, sending frightened birds into the air. I couldn't exhale the deep breath I had just taken. No, it was like I wasn't allowed to exhale. It was here, I first realized. The person in front of me. She wasn't Nana Ryugu. Then, who was it standing before me now? Who had assumed Nana Ryugu's appearance? I held my breath for so long, I could feel myself suffocating. Hey? And then she made a facial expression that Rena normally might have made. It didn't matter that it was Dennis' usual smile. It chilled me to the bone. She drew closer to me. I felt her breath against my face. It wasn't the least bit exciting. Whoever this was with Dennis' face was going to chew my nose right off. I cowered as I imagined that. Then, she smirked as if she was able to see right through me. We also have secrets. Just like how Katie could have secrets. It was Jenna's usual smile. But her eyes were still like that of a hawk. Bringing her face closer, close enough to mine to almost bump into my nose, she kindly persuaded me. I could nod or shake my head. This person standing in front of me, this person who looked like Lena, frightened me to my core. I was terrified knowing that she could hear the sound of me swallowing nervously. After what felt like an eternity, after a long, empty silence, she finally spoke. Let's go! It's getting chilly. It was Rena again. Smiling at me once more, she started walking as if nothing had happened at all. When I was released from her gaze, my legs gave off from under me and I slumped onto the ground. I wasn't able to lift a finger until Lena was out of sight. Who was that? I felt cold and my body was drenched in sweat. I was finally able to form coherent thought and asked myself once again, who was that person who looked like Lena Ryugu? Holy crap. Shit is starting to hit the fan. Whoa. Things are starting to kick off. Just like in the anime. I wonder what'll happen next. Maybe the next maybe the first infamous scene of the anime. We'll find out, won't we? Next time. Until then, this is the Gamer Girl signing off. Bye bye!